Hello and welcome, my name is Jakob Hack and you're watching a mod step tutorial. In this video we are going to have a look at the step sequencer and also its relation to the piano roll. Now to enter the step sequencer we tap the step sequencer icon up here in the upper left corner. Let's start by comparing some of the functions here to the piano roll. In the piano roll you can find the pattern matrix up here. Here is where you link patterns together. Now the pattern matrix looks a bit different than it does in the piano roll. Every clip can link up to 16 patterns, activate them by tapping them. You deactivate them by untapping them. The speed and chase functions works the same way as it does in the piano roll. For a full reference I suggest you go watch the mod step tutorial on using the the piano roll. And here you have your clip launcher. Here you can play and stop your patterns without having to go to the session view and actually tap the clip itself. Now when doing changes inside the step sequencer the same changes will appear in the piano roll and vice versa. So they do affect each other. Now there are more of the same controls that you can find inside the piano roll, inside the step sequencer. This part here, the mute, the solo and the arm function are the same ones as right down here or when you go into the session view. Now let's have a look at this area right here. This area changes depending on what you have chosen up here. You see you have patterns where we are right now, so we're showing the pattern matrix. You also have keys and when you press that you get a keyboard and you choose the scales right here. You also have a pads mode and this is nice when you're using drum machines or want to tap out drum patterns. You also have a chord mode and right now we can't see anything but you can actually make your own load and save chords inside the template editor. For the next part I've chosen to make a pattern inside the piano roll. Let's jump in to the step sequencer. Right now it's playing all steps but we can actually mute steps. You simply tap on the ones that you want to mute. You can also deactivate steps completely making the step sequencer jump from the deactivated steps to the active ones. Let me demonstrate. Press active steps right there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tap these four. Now it can be a bit hard to see. If you look closely they actually look a bit different. Now when I start playing then the step sequencer will play these four notes and then it will jump over these and jump directly to the next active ones. Watch closely when I press play. You simply activate the steps again so the player won't jump like it did before. Now you can also move the notes around by using this trigger right here. Now there's a quantization option for this too. If you hold down your finger you get a chooser. Let's say I only want a half a step. Then I move my finger to half and now when I move it's only going to move half a step. But you won't be able to see it here. However, you will be able to see it in the piano roll. Okay, I want you to focus right here. This is the octave selector. You choose the octave you want to work with when you're in this space. If I choose 8, so when moving notes now, I will move notes inside the 8th octave. Another thing is how this ties into the piano roll. Now, when I switch this up, it will switch up right here. But let's say I have two notes or three notes, like a chord and go back to the step sequencer, when I switch it down it will now switch down the whole chord according to the scale you've chosen. And that is neat. This way you can actually use the step sequencer as an extra extended tool for your piano roll. Now let's look at this. Here it says pitch, length, velocity, mod and mod alt. So the pitch is the view we're in right now. Now the length will set the length of the notes. The velocity is what it says. It's the velocity for the notes. Now the mod and the mod alt ties into the modulation. But more about that in another video. If you look to both the left 
and the right side, you can see XY pads. You can fill the X axis and the Y axis with CC values so that you can modulate it and record modulation using these pads right here. More on that in another video. Now there's one more function left that I want to show you and it is the note repeater. This will allow you to repeat notes. It will only work when playing the clip. It's tied to the BPM. So I've gone into keys now, turning on the note repeater. So I'm gonna press play and I'm gonna play notes so you can hear what's going on. Well, that's basically how the step sequencer works and how it ties into the piano roll. Think of it as an extended MIDI tool for your piano roll. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Jakob Hack signing off.